Hello everybody. Today I want to laser mark some stainless steel parts that a buddy gave me, wants me to put a logo and whatnot on it. Uh, so I went out and bought some Ceramark. It's rather expensive, but we'll see if it's worth it. I bought the LMM-6000 laser marking spray. So we'll see how that works. Um, just because I've read some other stuff online uh, about dry molly lube having a lot of the similar um, in ingredients, if you will, in, in it. So we'll see if a $100 can does any better than the $14 can. So again, here are the parts. Regular 3 sixteenths. As far as coverage goes on uh, the Dry Molly Lube versus the Ceramark, uh, they seem to cover um, pretty much identical. Um, there wasn't one that ran or, or anything like that. They both covered pretty evenly, really easy to put it on there. Uh, like I said, just got to make sure that we get a nice even, even coat on there. So as far as settings go on the D40 Chinese laser, I found that 100% uh, power really makes it adhere pretty good. Um, I found that uh, you speed it up and it made it a little bit finer and slowed it down and it made a, uh, would make your print a little bit bolder. Um, so that was, that was kind of interesting, but I found 100% power at 75% speed was a uh, pretty good ratio to, to go with. So that's what I'm going to be using for uh, power is 100% and speed at 75. So here's the result after lasering both of these pieces on the exact same settings. Um, side by side you can see that the um, Ceramark has that white tint to it and it really makes what uh, you're lasering really bold as opposed to uh, the Dry Molly. Um, it's, it's faint but you know it's there. Um, all we need to do now is uh, clean off all the uh, spray on there. Um, so that's what we'll be doing right now.
So here are the results. Uh, the dry molly loop performed a lot better than I was I was thinking it ever would. Uh, it really surprised me. Uh, obviously the Ceramark is a lot bolder, uh, it's a lot clearer, but uh, the dry, dry molly loop, I mean, it's definitely something that I'm going to uh, keep around just because it's a cheap option. Um, if you're using to maybe do some tools or something, you know, that it's it's really not a big deal. Uh, you know, I'm definitely going to go with that draw, dry molly lube over that $100 can of a uh, Ceramark. Um, but uh, you can definitely see where the worth is at in that Ceramark. Um, it does turn out beautiful, and it's really bold and true. Uh, and cleanup is easy compared to that dry molly lube. Uh, as you've seen earlier, I was I had to use the rubbing alcohol to uh, get all the spray and excess spray off as opposed to that Ceramark. You kind of put it under water and it kind of just runs off by itself. I hope you guys liked the video and found it interesting. Uh, I'll be talking to you guys again real soon. Thanks.